friends happy Saturday it is 30 well actually it's 40 degrees now it was 37 this morning so it is a gloomy cold day but I'm inside in a nice warm sunroom with my um, fireplace heater going Miss Callie is right here and I am drinking coffee and knitting this morning I picked up my first sleeve right here these are my cute little um, sheep stoppers so that I don't lose my um, stitches but this is what the bottom looks like now I did not I had I'm supposed to do seven rows and I didn't think I only did six and I didn't think I'd have enough yarn left to go around I'll have to show you how much yarn I had left I had this much yarn left so and I did not want to on the ribbing start on one more round to bind off with that so I just stopped at six rows and it ended up giving it this cute little pop of color on the end so so I've started I picked up this sleeve right here and I'm only like two rows in and this is what the underarm looks like so I don't think I'll have to sew I'll have to see when it's done but um, tighten up any stitches and um, been drinking my coffee I am on cup number three in my rise and shine stone a mug I don't use this one too much but I do like it so um, I got bread um, I got bread rising I'm not for sure the bread's going to work because it just didn't feel right and I needed it extra long and it just wasn't as pliable. So I'm going to give it the chance to see if it will double. And if it doesn't double, I just start all over again. So, but um, anyways, just a second. So I am sitting here with my um, anchor top on right here. And don't look too closely because I've got boo-boos in here that I'm noticing. But I got this on today. It fits really, really well. Um, I keep thinking that it's too big. <laughs> and it's not. You can see behind us how gloomy it is. So, um, But I just wanted to pop on this morning and say good morning. Happy Saturday. I hope your Saturday is a great one. And... Um, I won't keep you long. I'll just take you along for my day. <clears throat> no special plans. We're hoping just to stay home today and just get back into our routine. So, um, and besides, it's cold out, y'all. <laughs> and um, some some people have been saying they've been seeing snow. I don't want to see snow. So, <laughs> but anyways, I'll talk to y'all later. So this is my anchor sweater. I think it fits very well. But this is what mine looks like. Not perfect by any means. It fits my arms well. And it's right under my hips. So I've had this done for a little bit and my other sweater I am still working on. I am probably going to get one sleeve done today. Hopefully two. We'll see. So, but anyways, I just want to show you the finished anchor sweater.
it's Saturday night. It is like 5.30 and I have my supper down here. It is Mr. Jerry's homemade mac and cheese with some hot dogs in it. And he has cut it way down so that we don't have as much cheese and butter and all that stuff in it. So I got to let it cool. I'm going to burn my tongue. <laughs> I just wanted to come on and talk about something that um, just hurt my feelings a little. Um, I've been hmm, been making those um, summer tops, and I don't pretend that I'm a small gal. I'm not a small gal. I am still. A big gal and um, but I do like to sit there and I do like to have clothes that fit me well too many years I have gone when I was super thin growing up with a mom who said that I was overweight when I was 140 pounds 135 pounds and granted I am a grown woman but that is still planted in my head. So I have never really seen myself big. You know, I, I got 100 pounds, well now about 70, 70, 78 pounds to lose. She's like, Mama, you were out in the sunroom. You're not there now. <laughs> um... So I'm a big gal, but all those years and the older that I've gotten, I'm tired of hiding. I'm tired of not buying the cutesy clothes. I'm tired of buying the form-fitting jeans. I'm tired of looking frumpy. And if that's your look, there's nothing wrong with that. But for me, I'm tired of it because I don't see myself like that. So when I take pictures of myself, I look at it and I'm like, oh, but y'all, y'all see it. You know, I mean, I know I have the big chin and stuff and I have a couple bellies, big rolls here. You know, I, I have the rolls because I am overweight. Please do not be embarrassed about your shape, your size. Please realize that whatever you want to wear, wear it. If it makes you happy, be you. I say all this because I tried on my, um, I wore my anchor shirt and um, I took pictures of it, sent it to my friend Char, and I sent it to my mom. And then the uh, merry-go-round sweater, got one sleeve done. And I know it's form-fitting. And I know that it doesn't go over my hips. But to get it to go over my hips, I would have had to probably do more increases down there. And my thought process was, it's longer than it was, and my hips are eventually going to get smaller. But I love the fit. I love how it fits on my arms. I love the fit all over. So I sent that little clip that you would have seen to my mom too. And of course my friend Char, she's just like hooray exclamation points. Everything looks good. And all I get from my mom is on the green sweater was yuppers and then this sweater all she could say I, I all I did was when I sent it I said does it look okay on me how's the fit and all she could say is she likes her tops big and baggy and I said I'm a big girl and I don't need to have anything bigger to make me look bigger and she goes well she does because it helps hide the rolls and she goes maybe you don't have the rolls I do I said, oh, I, I got the rolls, but I let it go because 
in a roundabout way, she's telling me she didn't care for it. Now, she likes the color, but she didn't care for it on me. And that's how I took it. So I sent it. Mr. Jerry thinks that looks good. You know, but, you know, our husbands tend to tell us the truth and you can tell it in their face. You know, they can say, hey, that looks good, but you can tell in their face that you shouldn't probably do that. So I send them to our daughter, who's even more crisp than her dad. And um, she was so excited for me. She said, Mom, they look great on you. And I needed that extra boost because my feelings got hurt. Because I'm tired of hiding behind the shame that I'm a big girl. So, big is beautiful, smaller is going to be better. And I'm sorry I was trying not to cry, but it's not going to work. Please do not be a body shamer. Look at yourself. If you feel beautiful wearing that, that tank top, those shorts, even though you've got bulges and cellulite light and all that stuff all over, who cares? Life is too short. When Mr. Jerry and I got married, I weighed 140 pounds. And I thought I was so fat that when it was 90 degrees out and I was sweating, I had to wear long blue jeans and a blousey long top to hide my middle section and my bum because that's what I was taught. Because when I was 16 years old and I weighed 123 pounds, my mom said my butt was too big and she made me go to Weight Watchers with her. So it is a mental game for me and I am trying to be better at it because I truly do not see myself big. I know I'm big. I, I see myself in the mirror when I get out of the shower. I don't know whose idea it was <laughs> to put your mirror right here. We have a triple thing, um, vanity. And you open up the shower door and that's the first thing you see. <laughs> so I know what I look like. But it's what I feel. And... There are times that I wear form-fitting short tops because I like the top. I like the color. I like how what it looks like on me. And, yeah, people see my, my big belly and my hips. But, you know, there's not one that sits there and looks at me and says that, you know. So... Just because we have weight to lose doesn't mean that we're not beautiful. Just because we are bigger bigger than others doesn't mean that we deserve less. Because from what I can tell you, the skinny people have the problems just like we do. There's always going to be something that we're not going to like about ourselves. We're going to get all the weight off and then we're going to not like the loose skin. Or we're just not going to like how maybe, you know, because your face is so plump right now when you lose all your weight. How many times did, did you hear? And I heard this when I lost 63 pounds. Oh, I think you've lost enough weight, Terry, because, you know, you're looking, starting to look drawn and you're starting to look not good doesn't matter. I didn't think I did that I looked bad. I thought I looked okay. It's because I'm not plumped out like they're used to. And my body's got to get used to it. So anyways, believe in yourself. Choose to be beautiful. I choose to still continue to believe that I am a beautiful soul inside and out. And yeah, I'm a big girl, but I'm trying to get smaller every day. So please, 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 please be careful of your words because they do cut deep sometimes, whether it is to someone who is way overweight 
or you think they're at the perfect weight. You do not know what that person's going through. So anyways, my friends, I'm going to eat my supper. It's probably cooled off enough. I just wanted to come on and um, just say, y'all, y'all are beautiful no matter what you look like, what stage of your weight loss journey you are in. Wear what you want to wear. If it makes you happy, life's too short. And we need to be able to feel good. Because I personally know that when I start to wear cuter stuff, I feel good about myself. And once I start to feel good about myself, then I control my eating better and my emotions better. It is a vicious cycle. And my mom doesn't mean anything by it, I'm sure. But it's always how she's been. So hang in there, my friends. And thank you for listening to me on this rant that I'm having. Stay strong. I'm staying strong. And I will see you hopefully tomorrow.